hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Ola Bingpe Akinlaya if today's your first time you're seeing this beautiful face please feel free to be part of the family by subscribing down there is somewhere down there that red little box subscribe turn on the post notification bell so you get notified anytime I drop a new video just like the one you're watching right now yes thank you for being part of the family so let's dive into the video um as you can tell by the title of the video i'll be talking about seven things i have learned in no particular order in the space of me being married for seven years yes i am married i've been married seven years now um blessed with two wonderful children and we thank god for that so let us dive in into the point without wasting time i don't want this video to be unnecessarily long so i will try as much as possible to be brief and specific with my points so let's dive into number one percentage what do i mean by percentage you know this day and yet uh, this day and age when people talk they talk about relationships talk about marriage they be like marriage is 50 50. um i have same rights just like the way you have these and you no know, stuff like that so my take on this is yes we can say marriage is 50 50 and at the same time marriage is not 50 50 and here is my point to me what i have learned in my space of being married for seven years marriage is not 50 50. the reason why i said so is because in anything can happen between now and tomorrow anything can happen and that can change your percentage in your marriage at that point in time so that is why i said marriage is not 50 50 because anything can go on to me marriage can be 50 50 in space of 10 minutes marriage can be 70 30 it could be 80 50 it could be 80 80 20 it could be 60 40 it could be 100 to zero as far as i'm concerned so it's marriage is 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 coming together of two imperfect people that working and striving to be perfect so that is why marriage is not 50 50 marriage is coming together to mend each other so therefore marriage to me is not 50 50. so that leads me i hope you understand what i what i'm trying to i mean my the message i'm trying to pass across i know some people might come under the comment section and say what are you talking about uh what do you mean marriage is 50 50. i have equal rights yes we all have the same equal rights in marriage i also pay bills yes we can share the bills together there's nothing wrong in that that is why I specifically said it depends on the circumstances, the situation, anything, whatever is happening at that point, that will determine your percentage in the marriage. So that is where why I said marriage is a coming together of two imperfect people striving and working hard to be perfect together. So that is why the percentage it varies. And that will be taking me to my second point. Team player. In marriage, it is advisable, not even as it's important that couples remain team players. It's very, very important. It's crucial. That is something I have learned. That's another thing, a very important point that I have learned by myself in my marriage to be a team player. And I am not the only team player. My husband is as well a team player. So we come together to build a team together to bring ideas together to rub minds together if we are not team player if we are not a team player it's going to be hard for you it's going to be hard for you to to compromise to to communicate to talk with your partner you know to to do some certain things together you have to be a team player and if you are not a team player it's going to be tough for you in your own so my dear if you're a single lady a single guy if you're looking to get married very soon or you're even married or freshly married and you're watching this keep it in mind that being a team player is a very very crucial and important and important you know important thing in your home 
do I, did I just call it thing? I mean, yeah, it's something very important that you need to add to your qualities as a wife, a husband. So that is going to be taking me to my next point. If you see me looking that is because I'm looking at my points. Like I said, it's not in any particular order, but I want to make sure I touch base with everything. Do not sleep angry. <laughs> you see this point? Do not sleep no matter the problem is. I mean, no matter what the problem is, no, mat no matter what the circumstance may be, don't go to bed angry. <laughs> this thing is, it sounds, you know, it's, it's something really hard to do because we are human and blood runs through our veins. But my dear, if we can cultivate the habit of this little, little things that I'm, um, that I'm going to be that I'm mentioning on this video is going to help a lot. Don't go to bed angry. If you and your spouse have an argument or have a fight, I mean the mouth and the, the tooth and the tongue we fight. They fight a lot. You bite your teeth, you bite your tongue, but you still eat, right? And things still keep going. It's very important not to go to bed angry. With your spouse if you're angry with your spouse if you're an husband if you're a husband a wife your husband you know offended you your wife offended you don't go to bed angry this will this point will be leading me to my next point which is communication communication is very very important even i as a person still struggle with communication i'm learning we are all learning this is very important communication is very important in marriage i'm the kind of person that i talk but i don't really really talk to at the same time so communication is a little bit of a hassle for me and i'm working towards it as well because i'm learning i'm also working working on myself even with the fact that i've been married for seven years i'm telling you this is my own personal you know my own personal life right now i'm still working on my communication skills i've improved my husband said that i've improved a lot but i mean there's still a lot of work to be done communication is very important for example if your husband offend you you or your wife offend you you don't need to shout about it there are ways to communicate and not being spiteful about 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 it to your spouse you know maybe your spouse said something to you and you didn't like it you don't have to shout i don't like the way you know you don't have to be aggressive about it there's a way you can say it in a well communicating manner and your spouse will sit there and be like oh babe i'm sorry i didn't realize the way i talked to you you, you know you, you took an offense on, on it or you were angry or it's made you feel bad or it makes you feel less of a person. You understand what I'm saying? You know, the way we communicate is very important. Communication is key in your home. Husband, wife, communication is key in your home. This is going to take me to my next... Um, to my next... Um, topic one voice my next point i mean one voice it's very important for husband and wife to have one voice this one voice goes hand in hand with team player you know if you are not a team player how do you have how do you want to have one voice see so all these points i listed they are interwoven if you are not a team player how do you want to have one voice with your spouse my dear husband to be wife to be if you are married and you're watching this how do you want to have one voice if you are not a team player one voice is very important in a home especially when you are raising kids if husband says kneel down to the child or maybe is um disciplining the child and the wife gets up like ah why are you doing this child get up there's going to be a problem I hope you understand what I'm saying. So it's very important to have one voice in a home. As a couple, you guys need to have one voice. Communication and one voice can't happen 
if you guys don't have good communication skills if both of you don't have if you both of you don't have good team playing skills you know if both of you don't understand the fact that both of you are two imperfect people that are striving to be perfect all these things can't work and my last and not the least point is never stop dating always remember there is i mean never stop dating in your marriage you have to keep dating your wife you have to keep dating your husband always try always keep spicing up the game go to date night go to movie nights um if you guys can't go out you know physically bring the date home put the kids asleep to bed in time if you have kids like me put them to bed early both of both of you can stay up late and watch something have a sip of wine if you are not an alcoholic person cold chilled water you know it could be something simple it could be drinking gary together it could be eating meat together it could be drinking juice together date yourself you guys should hang around spend some quality time with yourselves is very very important so so personally if you watch up to this moment thank you very much and if you have not yet subscribed please what are you waiting for subscribe to this channel i'm sure you have picked one or two things from this video and i'm glad if you learned something leave leave your comment below if you have other points that you want to add to it so that is going to help somebody out there drop it in the comment section so like i said these are the personal things i have learned by myself in my space of seven years of being married yes my own personal things that i have i have learned as a married woman so thank you very much i really appreciate your time thank you for watching i don't want this video to be longer than it is right now don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to you know comment subscribe if you haven't shared this video and thank you very much i'll be seeing you in my next for now bye